These people are actually helping us to get other members of the gang. So, cameramen, you're going to plant your faces after you must have seen them. I'll do this for people to know that we don't take anything. We are working hard for the four hours. Everybody is on his toes to make sure we decimate these criminal elements. I will stop peace and no mercy back to our various communities. Hussein, Hussein Yassan. Akwai Turinji. Akwai Kala Kala. No, 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 if you speak English again, so please say, Akwai Kala Kala. Give us the Kadak Kadak way. What is your name? Hussein Yassan. Where you come from? From Plato. Where in Plato? Bokos, I come from the Jaffa district. Bokos? Yes. You'll be in BG or Bokos, I'll be you'll be visitor. I'll be in BG or Bokos, I come from the Jaffa district in Jaffa district. So why you going to do this uh, killing, killing, what did you do? Uh, no, sir, I don't know that, sir. What are you going to do? What did they do? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. What I know, just only what I know. So soon you come, Mr. Yaro, which is the bank, and you must invest in the bank. Anyway, anyway, collect my mind from here. What is, what is certain, like I said, that we always move towards forensic investigation and analysis of events. For at this level, we're here now in the police. We have the equipment to do what we want to do scientifically. So whoever that must have been picked by our tactical teams has been fingered in that particular crime. So whether you do have credible evidence against you, but I don't want to reveal anything here now because the case is still on with us. They are actually brought in today, even they have been on the field, taking us to some places. You are brought back this morning for this press briefing. I'm sure when we pick a one pending that if it involves one prominent Nigerian again, we are still coming back with all those cases uh, so that Nigerians can know that in security business, we trust no one. Return them, please. The next case is a case of arrest of bone running suspects. We are more interested in this case because these one are trained experts and they are into gun running. We believe if you break the powers of this cartel of gun runners, I will touch you to win these violent crimes are almost 80% successful. If there are no harms, there are nobody. I imagine this tiny one now who face me and ask me to go to the bush with him without any harm. I will take him and we are going to fight. So we are taking two things very serious. The issue of gun running and use of drug. If they are not on drug and they are not armed, they are not, no, they are only very gentle. Very, very gentle. Like far away they with the shrine. But when they are armed and when they are drunk, there's something else. So we are constantly working with relevant ministry, department, and agencies to see how we can control this issue of gun running and the use, the sense of abuse of drugs. So NDL is working with us in all areas, and the IGP has given matching order to our narcotic unit of the first criminal investigation department. Do you say in a lot more to do something with us and we work with other agencies to see how we can actually continue to fight this battle of the seeds of drug 
and abuse of drug and gun running is a critical thing. You collect that the last time we paraded, I think two of them or three for gun running. We are getting them. We are getting them and we shall be there. All we need is support from you to give us adequate information and belief in our system. We still have a system that works in this country. All we need is to be patient, be patriotic enough and see working with the authority agencies as a civic responsibility. Ayuba, Council, Samuel, Musa, Magaji, Empress, Silas, Audi, where are they? Are they there? We have brought one of them for you to see the three are in the cell. For now, I decided to cover this whole face so that you will know him. These are the people who are still working on them, please. So don't ask me to remove the nose mask. I don't know. I don't remove any nose mask here. Don't give him mic. Don't give him mic. No, I don't want him to talk for many reasons. Uh, we are still working on certain things. By the time he talks now, those people that they want to get me, me, me japa. And I don't want them to japa. We must pick all of them one after the other. Because we believe by the time we tackle these ones, most of these criminally minded elements will not be harmed to carry out their activities. He's a trained person who knows how to handle things. He's a big boy in his own in his own kingdom. This is number one man. We have sold more than oh, how many guns? In hundreds, there are still guns in hundreds. This one. Yeah, what's, the, what's the name? What's his own name? Maga Javarez, the male. He has sold guns in hundreds. And that is the truth. We have recovered some of the guns and the ammunition. Those are the pictures, pictures you, are, you are going to see on the deck there. We are going there shortly. We have recovered. We continue to recover. Let's take a napping and go running again. Another one. Samila Aruna. Are they there? Bring those, bring them now. <laughs> On the 17th of January 2024 at about 8 a.m., credible information and intelligence was gathered from a law abiding Nigerian of this nation who, who pleaded anonymity. Of course, you are not going to disclose your identity. That's some judged and all the pentan criminals who specialize in terrorizing Kogi State, Kaduna State, FCT, and other parts of northern Nigeria have had their hideout at Obajana, village in Kogi State. The crack team of IRT was immediately detailed for investigation. The objective is to get we are currently at large. We know how to get them and we are closing in on them. We are going to get them as soon as possible. Usman Yunusa. Remove the Sonaji. Okay. This is the kidnappers. Okay. How much did you collect when you kidnap ones? Six hundred thousand. How many of you are in the gang? Five of you. How did Akwemusa Akwe Bello. Yeah. Any bello here? Yeah? <laughs> okay. How did you meet all these organs? Where did you meet? Most I do a 
They met a cardinal. So you met a cardinal, and you now moved to a patana in Koki. I want to put a patana. Any Nigerian Sanders to change our patana. I can't find the Nigerian champion. They all met there. How did you coordinate yourself? Were you calling one by one or just how did you do it? Work for kidnapping or for farming for kidnapping. Okay, gentlemen of the press. I have been informed that this particular Osman was among those who attacked the. Is it Kaduna Dam train? Sometimes ago, when many were attacked in the train at Regina, am I right? It's one of them. It's one of them. But I always say, every offense committed leaves a trace. You can only run, you cannot hide. We will surely get you. Thank you, Usma. We shall meet again. You want to interview the partner? There's no need. No. They are the same thing. The bed of the same feather, and they flow together. Are we having the suspects? The, the suspect from anti kidnapping FCT? Okay. The next case we have is a case of criminal conspiracy or not possession of retail firearms and ammunition and attempted armed robbery. Mukhtar Usman Abdullah, Usman Mohammed, Abaka Mohammed. Are they here? Okay. Can I have the bags of this one? Can I call, turn their bags, please? I don't want them home. Back, back, back. This case is a very sensitive case that we are working on. In October 2023, at about 8 p.m., we got information from Divisional Police Headquarters in Zoba, Abuja. That a suspicious movement of new faces believed to be criminal elements were noticed by a trader at the food market Zuba. This is community policing. That person was selling his food. Noticed strange movement and later the DPO of that local area. This is how it should be. Immediately the team was deployed to the area of covert operation where they arrested one Charles Man of the line of Duckwell village of Buja with one AK-47 rifle. If you have not noticed that moment, if nothing has been done, perhaps you could have used this AK-47 to perpetrate evil acts that must have led to the death of many innocent souls in the country. The AK was loaded with 30 rounds of ammunition of 7.62 mm life ammunition. While other four hoodlums escaped, the arrested suspect led to the, the operative to his place of residence where one is Mom Mohammed and Abu Bakr Mohammed, both men were arrested. The house was searched, and two additional AK for seven rifles, it's, and 35 rounds of 7.62 mm life ammunition. 
together with one English made director pistol with seven rounds of 9mm knife ammunition were recovered. Just that singular move made by an innocent Nigerian, a patriotic Nigerian, has led to the arrest of all these and recoveries of all this. It is important we take note and know that our duty is to share relevant information with our security agencies and take notes of certain things, strange things around us. The operative demonstrated the commitment of the force under the available chief of the RGP. May I also retreat that the Nigerian police force will not relent in its, to ensure that our country becomes a safe heaven for us in this country. We will continue to combat crime and criminality without ceasing or taking a rest. Let me say here again that I want the anti-kidnapping team of FCT to give me the names of the suspects we have brought forward. They just brought them in now. If you have them, I want the list. Then these, these ones, like I said, they are they are into so many things. They are helping us to do so many works on how to cope terrorism in this country. Not only kidnapping, terrorism. They have been picked and we are working on them. Like I said earlier on, that I want our residents in the Federal Capital Territory and anywhere across the country take note of those they want to accept as guests. Not all guests you see are actually real guests or visitors. That our culture of accepting Tom, Dick and Harry is, must be revealed at this point in time. These ones have been accepted to a community, but behold, they are terrorists and we should take note of that. We want you to always please Watch those and profile those you want to accept into your community as tenants. It is very, very important. Can I take the leave and let's have another one? <laughs> Gentlemen, on the press, let that be the last case I'm going to showcase today. We want to assure you that with the launch of Operation, the Special Interventions Court for the Federal Capital Territory, we want to reassure the residents of the Federal Capital Territory, particularly the supporters, that we are there to flush this criminal element out of this territory. FCT is having a sigh of relief. In the last four, five days, the battle has been very hot and it is paying off. We want to assure you that the RGP is taking all these assistance to make sure we sustain the operations of our men of the Special Intervention Squad. 600 plus personnel have been deployed and don't forget that SRS should have 1,000 personnel. So the RGP is mopping up additional man, man, man power to support the one we have in the Federal Capital Territory. We want to urge our traditional rulers, local government chairman, community heads, to please partner with the police and other security agencies. Other operations will be floated and on these operations, we work Tarepaso to make sure we restore normalcy to the federal capital territory and by extension to all our communities across the country. The message from the IGP once again is we want your Nigerians to please be on the same page with us. Support all our security operatives who are on the field fighting this battle so that we can collectively succeed in making sure we have a more secure environment for all of us in this country. 
To this house that we have recovered, these are the hands we have recovered. This one, you know. Look here, look here. See them again, another set of hams. Another set of hams. I won't always believe that some of these hams must have been taken away from our men who have been killed by these criminal elements. This, this is, is either this is for the military or the custom. They use this more. They use this more. You can see, oh, fine, fine pistols, but very, very deadly. These are the, the, the pistols recovered from Chinaza, the arrested in Kaduna, and returned back to us in, in Abuja here. You can see these are the original pistols, polished pistols, imported pistols. What describes this as an offensive weapon? It's not the time somebody will carry AK to run. I can bet you, many of you here now, you see this thing now, they say drop the thing where you carry. You just drop and JJ because you don't want to be hurt by anybody. You can see, this jackknife is an offensive weapon that you can use to rob and take people away. You can see again. You think it's important. It's locally made. See how beautiful it is. Locally made AK-47. See the fabrication. Fantastic. I think we have to get these people. We we'll go after them. And possibly we we'll use them for our good. Because this is fantastic. And that is the truth. It's fantastic. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> You can see again. Okay, no? RPG, or we don't recover another one. This is it. And our job again is to make sure we work the NSA to trade the source or sources of some of these guns that have been brought in to our communities. You can see. It's very obvious. This is one of the small people. This is the cutout from the gun runners. They are not licensed, they are local weapons. You can see they are brand new. So we are working on how to get sources of some of these things. You can see all the pistols recovered from them. They sell all these. All these are English pistols. And I'm sure this ones definitely will belong to one security agency or the other. Perhaps police pistols will be there. That forces pistols. All of us that will use arms. We know how to go about it so that we can actually trace the source to know the original owners of these weapons. We have a process, and if you cannot trace all these, the owners, definitely we get back to the office of the NSA. We always hand over some of these weapons to them at the Center uh, for Control of Columbia. Uh, information. All these, all these cases now were actually premised on reliable information from people. Then we now continue from there to use our, our forensic analysis to process those information to know how authentic they are. And we, are, we have been achieving in that direction. So all this support we get from Nigerians, fantastic support. We want to help them to continue to support us. Um, which one again? Let's go, excuse me, please. Chi, Chi, Naza, what? Am I right? Yep. Chi, Naza, what? Uh-uh. When you come back, when you come back, when you Can you see that? He said you cannot see that. No, 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 no. Okay, what's the name? Gotcha. So, this, this, that's the name of the law. Like I said the other time, he was, he was obtained. Huh? He was tapped to court for officers, particularly the DC, IRT, 
Okay, I'm going to go and it's choice operatives of IRT that are here with us. And like I always do, I do recognize our suspects we are calling in today. Good afternoon to you all and you welcome to this event. I'd like in furtherance of our effort to make sure we discharge our duties as a spirit of us. We have been able to record some achievements in combating violent crimes in the Federal Capital Territory and in other states across the country. In another glorious day for the force of God, Another glorious day for the Nigerian police force and glorious day for our country, Nigeria. Today, we will be giving a brief on several significant police operations conducted by the Nigerian police force intelligence and tactical team. The Department of Force Intelligence, IRT, and the Federal Capital Territory anti violent Crime Session. These commendable operations have led to the arrest of dangerous criminals involved in various heinous crimes and recoveries of illicit arms and ammunition, as well as other illicit items across the country. As you are all aware, that on 9th of January 2024, we had a press briefing where we paraded a total of 67 suspects for various crimes across the country, and we promised not to be late on our efforts to attack every form of criminality in the country. I am proud to announce to you today, 20th January 2024, that we have kept, and we are still keeping this promise. The results of our relentless fight against crime is surely paying off, as to we all witness here today. In today's press briefing, we have a total of 16 suspects arrested by the gallant operatives of the intelligence response team and the anti-violent crime session of the LCT. And I've been informed again that the anti-kidnapping session of the Federal Capital Territory has arrested some suspects who are going to be on display here today. These suspects have all given their confession and statement and are still providing our operatives with more relevant information to aid in the apprehension of other criminals and the further tackling of crime and criminality. We have, all, we have also recovered today a total of five AK-47 rifles, 11 pistols, two pop action guns, one English made Barretta pistol, 65 rounds of 7.62 mm life ammunition, that is for AK-47, and several rounds of 9 mm life ammunition for Barretta pistol from the apprehended suspect, which will serve as evidence for prosecution of these various cases as a window. It's important for us to know that barely for this, the IDP launched a special intervention called for the Federal Capital Territory, these achievements started rolling in. The first case will be revealing today the case conspiracy, kidnapping, first involved are uh, Idris Ishaku, aka Yellow. And we have Yellow here. Can the IPOs of all these cases be on standby and bring your suspects one after the other as their names are being announced? Bala Umar, male, 27 years, and Dairo Salis Omel, 
27 years. This was a dose repeat Ishaku, Bala, Umar, and Iro Salisu. Funeral investigations show that this group in the Federal Capital Territory, including some that have occurred in the Pori Aziz of the Federal Capital Territory. Our objectives are currently intensifying efforts to rescue the hostage in their captivity and make sure other members of this gang are apprehended immediately. There's no need, let them face, let them face. They and camera men will have agreement on what to do. We've got to blunt their faces. Let them, let them see. Who is yellow? Yanu, a big camera was saying now. Can we remove the nice mask? Those masks will be removed.